Welcome back to A Taste of Pipsy. I'm your chef, Alex. I'm here with Chef Chef Mason. Chef Mason, you've, been, you've made something special for us today. What do you have? Well, I got something new for y'all today. I got a homemade baked squirrel. Homemade baked squirrel. This will be a first for me, and I can tell you I'm actually excited. Where'd you get this squirrel from? My dearlies. Your dearlies? <laughs> you shot it yourself? Yeah. All right. Is that something that you've done regularly? Oh, yeah, man. I've been been outdoors my whole life, squirrel hunting, deer hunting, duck hunting, fishing, which is something I do. Alright, so I'm, I'm guessing you're not new to the taste of squirrel like I will be. Not at all. <laughs> How would you say the turtle, uh, squirrel has a taste to it? Like, what, what taste would you give it? To me personally, squirrels have got its own taste. You know, not a lot of people like, they all like bash on it. I don't want to eat no squirrel. You, you never tried it, so how do you know? Yeah. Well, so, like, I know that uh, animals, what they eat is kind of what helps give them their taste. Yeah. Squirrels obviously eat a lot of nuts. Would you say it has a nutty flavor to it, or would you say it's more, what would you call it? Uh, not, not with the way I eat it. The way I, what the, I taste the season more than anything. I mean, ah, okay. taste like a nutty taste. <laughs> All right, well, speaking of the way you eat it, you've already prepared the dish for us, so you're just going to help us go through the steps of making it. Mm -hmm. Uh, how would you prepare the squirrel first? Like, what cuts of the meat did you use? So it really, you're, just, you're going to use four or five parts. You're going to use four legs and the back. No ribs, no nothing else. Just four legs and the back. The legs kind of like chicken wings? Yeah, they're really small. They're not like that. Big. Oh, so like wings. But yeah. All right. Like mini, like mini wings, basically. And so how? And then how do you go about cooking this? All you do is you just cook it in the. Set your, set your oven to about 350 and cook, cook it slow for about an hour and a half or until, or until it's tender. I cook for an hour an hour and a half, but until it, it, it's how tender you want it. Now you're going to have, no matter how long you cook it, you're still going to have tough pieces. Yeah. Some, some pieces you just can't get tough. I know with smaller animals that's more common yeah. and have like a little more of a tougher chew. Yeah. What do you throw into it when you're cooking it then with what, what we have here? It, it's really simple. It's, it, this is the way I've cooked it and my, dad, my dad's cooked it. His whole life. This is how I'm going to cook it the rest of my life. Oh, so this is something that gets passed down from generation to yeah, generation? Yeah, basically. All right. It's like the simplest thing. Yeah. There we go. We got a family recipe today. All you do is you cut, cut your squirrels into fours and your backs and however many you want. Me personally, I can eat like four of them. So. <laughs> all, you, all you do is just you get, get some tummy seasoning, cover, layer on with tummies, and then you throw a, a stick or two of margarine butter in there and you cover the top with some tinfoil and stick it in the all right. Uh, is Tony something that like you would personally say like you want to use, or could you use any kind of different rub or uh, seasoning? I mean, Tony's is the only thing I've ever used, but I'm sure you can use other others. But me, for me personally, Tony's is the only thing I've ever used. All right. And so with the margarine, you just throw it in there, or do you like kind of like spread it around, or you just throw it in like yeah, have it just, just boil really down and soak it in? All right. So I mean, uh, you have rice that goes with this, correct? Oh uh, yeah. Well, my dad does rice with other. Vegetables, corn, green beans, anything like that. I just did rice today. But the thing with the butter and the tonies, the butter melts down into a broth. Right. And then you get the white rice and you take the broth and pour it over the white, over the, the white rice as like a gravy type deal. And then you got this quarter. Oh, okay. Would you add some flour to kind of make that great, like a little more yeah. thicken up that gravy? Yeah, I didn't do it today, but I have done that before. Oh, that sounds wonderful. Uh, so, did you perfect this yourself by coming to the uh, the Bitsy Culinary Program? I like, was it able to improve this dish for you, or how? Like, have you learned new things by coming here for this kind of cooking of yours? I mean, I, I've learned new things that I ha I could put into this dish, but today I just kept it simple with what I've been doing. I didn't apply anything new, but there are things that I have learned. Is there a special reason you came to the Bitsy Culinary Program? Yeah, I, I've, just been, I've been in restaurants since I was 13 years old. I'm 19 now. I just, I feel like it's just something that I could do the rest of my life and open up my own business one day, hopefully. And that's, that's the goal right there, because when I started, my, it was at my uncle's restaurant. My family's been in restaurants since the 70s, so it's just like a family deal. Oh, that's amazing, man. Yeah, I hope you do that yourself. I'd definitely love to taste one of your squirrel dishes. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I guess so. I guess we're gonna start tasting the squirrel dish right now. Can uh, we grab it over here? Oh yeah, we do. Oh, that looks 
looks fancy. Yeah, I think. It doesn't, it doesn't look like that at home, but I fancy it up for you. <laughs> you don't have to worry about fancy when you're at home. No. <laughs> All right, so there, I'm assuming there's bone in this. Yeah. So what's the best way you would tackle it? Just literally like a chicken wing? Yeah. The, right. fork, the fork's for the rice. Fork for the rice. Okay. Uh, do you want to eat one with me? No, I've already had some. You've already had and I don't know if that boat looks my first time eating squirrel, and the chef says, I don't want it. You've already had some. Trust me, I've already had some. All right. I, this actually looks really good. I can't wait to tell Mm -hmm. I don't care if it's not this good. That's... I'm going to start holding a squirrel. I need some lead pills in there somewhere. <laughs> don't tell me that. <laughs> well, that's good for you, I guess. Yeah, uh, that's what, Yeah, this is, so like I said, it's a little tough, but the flavor is there. Yeah. Some of the other ones might be a little tenderer. I'm sorry, I'm not talking. Really good. <laughs> I'm glad I had this today. And uh, did you do anything special with the rice? No, I just put the broth on it. Oh, I mean, that's special enough for me, actually. Mm. There's one thing I love about rice is when it soaks up anyway with the juice that you put yeah, on top. That's what it does. That broth is really good, too. Well, all right, that was great, man. Then, then uh, yeah. So this was A Taste of Bipsy. This is your chef, Chef Mason. I'm your host, Alex, and I'll see you next time on A Taste of Bipsy. Stay in the kitchen. Later.